Hey, how's it going on guys? So in this video, we'll discuss about this problem, added distance. Given two words, word 1 and word 2, find the minimum number of operations required to convert word 1 to word 2. You have the following three operations permitted on a word. Insert a character, delete a character, replace a character. So let us consider the one example first. So for this example, word 1 is horse and word 2 is Ross. So the output is 3. So first we have converted horse to Ross, that is replacing H with R. So we have replaced this H with this R. Next we have converted Ross to Ross, that is removing an R. So we have removed this R. And finally we have converted Rose to Ross, that is remove E, so we have removed this E. So if you see number of operations are 1, 2, 3, so the output is 3. So let us see how we can solve this problem. So we are going to write a recursive method in order to solve this problem and in the recursive method we are going to provide the words given to us that is word 1 and word 2 and apart from that we will have two pointers i and j where i will point to the current character being processed for word 1 and j will point to the current character being processed for word 2. So there exist only two conditions. The, con the condition 1 is when the current character for word 1 is matching with the current character for word 2 then we are doing something like this. I will try to explain it to you what is the meaning of this. Else, that is, in case the current character for word 1 and word 2 are not matching, we are doing something like this. So I'll try to explain to you the code, what I'm doing in these parts of the code. So let us consider this if block first. So consider this input given to us. So we have word 1 and word 2. So basically this dot 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 means some characters are present. So we are trying to be general over here. And some characters present over here as well. Okay. So we have to convert this string to this string. Let, let us suppose the i is pointing over here and j is pointing over here. So since the current character for word 1 that is h is matching with the current character for word 2 that is h, what I did is I called for the recursion of i plus 1 j plus 1 that is for this string and this string. So it is mentioned over here. Correct. So what I'm trying to say is let us find the number of operations in order to convert this part of the string to this part of the string and this will be same as the number of operations that is that are required to convert this part of the string to this part of the string reason being the current character is actually matching so we don't have to change anything over there so that's why we are calling for the rest of the string for word 1 and rest of the string for word 2 that is i plus 1 j plus 1 correct now let us consider this else condition that is in case the current character is not matching so we have this as the word 1 and this as the word 2 the current character being processed for word 1 is this and the current character for that is being processed for word 2 is this so as you can see h is not match meeting with uh, matching with r so now we have three operations that is it is written over here either we can insert a character delete a character or replace a character so first what we are doing is we are uh, trying to find the recursion we are calling the recursion three times so the first is i j plus one now i want you guys to pause the video and think about what is the meaning of i comma j plus one all right okay so what is the meaning of calling recursion for i comma j plus one let us consider so we have this as word one and this as word two so i j plus one means i remains over here that is something like this but j is moved from r to o that is this so what we are doing is since we have to convert this word 1 to word 2 and we have actually bypassed this character r this means that we actually have inserted this r so what we are doing is we are inserting this r before this h over here and we are processing for this string and this string so this is what we mean by this that is insert correct so this is insert a character so we are basically inserting the character of word 2 into word 1 correct so this is insert the next call for delete is i plus 1 j why is this call for delete so let us see so currently h is pointing over here so i plus 1 will be over here and j is over here and since we are calling for j only so it will be over here so what is the meaning of this it means that we have actually bypassed this character now so what is the meaning of this it means that we actually have deleted this character and we are trying to convert this string into this string correct so this is this is what we mean by delete and the final call is i plus 1 j plus 1 that is over here h 
that is the i will point from h to o that is over uh, here and j will point from r to o that is over here so what we have done is we have bypassed this character for word 1 and this character for word 2 so what is the meaning of this is we actually have converted h to r so this is replace so this is replace so we will do all these three operations and we will find the minimum of these three operations and we will add one to it why one to it because we are doing one operations either we are inserting or deleting or replacing so i guess that's it let me write the code for this question and then things will be more clear okay let me remove this thing okay so we'll write a recursive method let's name it ed that is added distance we'll have string word one string word two int i and int j so i'll point to the current character being processed for word one and j will point to the current character being processed for word two now what i'm saying is in case word one dot carity i equal equal word two dot carity j so either this or this so in case this is the cake condition what we will do is we will simply call the recursion for word one comma word two i plus one j plus one so this has already been discussed over here correct next in case the current character for word one is not matching with the current character of word two what we will do is we will return one plus math dot min so here we will perform three recursions that is word one word two i j plus one comma math dot min of ed word one word two i plus one j and ed word one word two i plus one j plus one all right now for the base cases so it might be possible that i equal equal word one dot length or j equal equal word two dot length So in this case, what we will do is we will check in case i equal equal word one dot length. Then in that case, what we will do is we will return word two dot length minus j. Otherwise, we will return word one dot length minus i. So let me try to explain to you what I mean by this thing. So it might be possible that while iterating over the string, one of the string is completely iterated. That is, so let us consider uh, this example. Let me copy this thing. Okay. So just wait for a second. So let's suppose we are at this character for word two and for word one, the each of the character is, has been processed. So that, that is, we are at the end. So what we will do is now, since we need this part of the string. So what it means is we actually have to add all these characters that is insert all these characters into word one. So this will be equal to what the count will be equal to the length minus J. J will be pointing to this. So we will find the length and we will and we have J. So we will simply return word two dot length minus J. And similarly, in case the other way around, that is in case J equal equal word two dot length what is the meaning of this the meaning of this is okay so the meaning of this is so suppose the i is pointing over here at this edge and j has been completely traversed okay okay so in that case what it means is you actually have to delete all these characters we have to delete all these characters correct so the count for all these characters will be equals to word one dot length minus i so that is what we are doing over 
here okay so let me just uh, call this recursion from the main method with word 1 word 2 0 comma 0 so i guess that's it let me run this code once so it's giving the correct result let me submit the solution So it's giving time limit exceeded. Why is that? Let us try to think. So if you see, if you try to form a recursion tree, so let us consider this input given to us, that is ABC and XYZ. Since you know that the characters for word one are not matching with characters for word two. So at each step, we are going into the else condition. That is the current character is not matching. That is we are calling the recursion for three times. I J plus one, I plus one J and I plus one J plus one. So if you see, I have uh, drawn the recursion tree. This is not the complete recursion tree, only a part of recursion tree for this example. And if you see carefully, there are some sub problems which are repeating. So if you see ED one comma two, ED one comma two is repeating. So we are trying to find answer to the similar problems and that's adding to our complexity. So if you see ED one comma one is also repeating. And if this is strings are large enough, then there will be a lot of repetitions. And wh what we do when we have a lot of repetitions. So this is basically called as overlapping sub problems. So in this case, what we will do is we will try to solve the, we will try to store these values in some kind of table. Uh, so let me name this table DP and uh, let me add the solution. So if you see, there are two states of DP, there are two variables over here, I comma J and I can take maximum of word comma length and J can take maximum of word two dot length. So what we will do over here is we will create a DP array and this will be equals to word one dot length plus one and word two dot length plus one. So let me just initialize this array as well for int i equals zero i less than word one dot length i plus plus for int j equals zero j less than word two dot length j plus plus dpij is minus one so we'll pass this dp array or this table in the recursion so we'll get over here that is dp now in each recursive call just add dp okay let me just clean this up as well okay so now what we will do is before uh, before returning it we will store the current value in dp of ij similarly over here and over here as well and before calling the recursion or anything we will check in case dp of ij is not minus one then what it means is we have initialized it someplace, so we'll use that value only. So we'll return db of i j. Okay, so this looks clean. So let me just run this code once. Okay, so it's giving a wrong answer actually. Okay, why is it giving a wrong answer? Okay, so this must be word one dot length and word two dot length plus one plus one. So let me run this code once more time, one more time. So it's giving the correct result. Let me submit the solution. So it got accepted. So let me show the details as well. So if you see, we are over here. Okay, for the same solution, I was getting also a hundred percent beating 100% uh, of java submissions only so i guess that's some problem with the lead code so i guess uh, from this video that's it from this video so in case you have learned anything from the video you can hit that like button and in order to support my work you can consider subscribing to my channel thank you all